Like this is no place for anyone. I'd better investigate this. Hmm, unless I miss my guess, that sounds like a large primate about to attack two guys carrying a piano on a rope bridge. Uh, do you know there's an ape on that bridge? No, but if you hum a few bars, we'll play it for you. <laughs> I saw someone. Buy Polly Pine Blossom's flower, fresh daily. That someone alone in the snow is little Polly Pine Blossom, poor but industrious flower girl. <laughs> Some people get their kicks stepping on dreams. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Won't you buy a stem? Sure. Here, take my lucky chunk of cheese. I carry it in my sock. But you've been crying. What's wrong? I'll be glad to help. No, Mighty Mouse. I can take care of myself. Go help someone who really needs you. Hmm, maybe you're right. Help. Who's in trouble here? I am. I fell backwards here and can't get up again. But you're a pill bug. Why don't you just roll up into a ball? I never learned to roll up. My family couldn't afford the lessons. Oh, it's easy. Just watch me. Ha, ha. Hey, <laughs> you'd make a fine bug there, Mousy. I did it. Hot dog. Hey, thanks a lot, Mousy. I'll never forget you for this. Now, how do I get out of this? Young lady, stop beating City Hall. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat a flower. Are you sure I can't help you out of here? No. There are others less fortunate than me. Hmm. <laughs> Why the coffee break? You beavers never take a rest. I get tired fast. My pals all have sharp teeth to cut wood with and nice big flat tails to spread mud for our dams. So? Well, look at me. Whoa! Any idea how tough it is to chop down the redwood with these babies? Now, now, don't get so upset, Mr. Beaver. Nature was just a little slow with your development. Hold still. One of my better moves. Learned it from a chiropractor. I only want the red parts. I 
want your best flower. And you can give this to them that needs it. Be seeing you around. Oh, no. The ink on the money. Look. <laughs> One good lie is worth a hundred truths. <laughs> Someone's being mean to you. Tell me who it is so I can punch him tastefully. Don't even think of punching someone, not even tastefully. I don't need your help, especially when there are others less fortunate than me. Well, all darn, she's right at that. We've got to keep up our defenses, brothers. Why? Yes, it's the Queen's eggs for sure. Here I come to save the day. Hmm. Horse doesn't work on a crustacean. I've got it. A lodge brother. I wanted to help people less fortunate than me. I know someone else like that. Please buy my flower. Please. <laughs> oh no. of a salesperson. Look at you. You're a living mess. Selling rotten tomatoes on a stick. coming for a long time. You know, this hurts me more than it does you. Stop it. That's enough. He's a human being. He's not really mean. He's just making up for the terrible things that have happened in his own life. Don't worry. Somebody loves you. <laughs> That's the first act of kindness. In all my life, I've never had that. Good deed really changed Big Murray. 
who besides marrying her, gave her a job for closing mortgages for him. This is not the end, but a new beginning. most rare of all astrological phenomena. Thus began a chain reaction of events that would mystify scientists for generations to come. Stretching from the Bermuda Triangle to the shores of Loch Ness, It was a billion to one shot. They said it would never happen this way. But on this day, the hand of fate broke a nail. It was here that nature played its cruelest trick. For this was the fateful day, the day that Puffy went berserk. First, the kitten's transformation went unnoticed. But it soon became apparent that something was amiss. Before long, the monster had the entire city at its mercy. Hey, uh, what's a three-letter word for feline? <laughs> cat! Cuck-a-cuck-a <laughs> cat? Nah, that's too many letters. Sadly, even the combined might of the Mouseville Air Force was unable to stop the monster's reign of terror. Save the citizens of Mouseville from this colossal kitten! Who can stop this feline phantom? This looks like a job for Mighty Mouse! I just had a nightmare that a 50-foot cat was terrorizing the city. Nah, that's too silly. Why are you? Excuse me, officer. What seems to be the problem? What do you think the problem is, you stupid? Why? Why? Hello, Mighty Mouse. And nice, nice weather we're having, isn't it? It looks as if the city has been attacked by someone or something. It sure was, but no one seems to have seen who did it. Mighty Mouse, over here. What's wrong, <laughs> Pearl? What's the matter, honey? Did you see something? <laughs> oh, Mighty, she's scared half to death. It's all right, honey. You can tell us. Did you see something bad? Please, try to remember. Can you give us a description of the monster? Well, I believe it was a fluffy ivory-colored kitten with ultramarine blue eyes, approximately 66.4 meters in length, medium filled with a mole on his left whisker. It was just awful. <laughs> oh, come on, honey, I'll take you home. The poor girl. If only she could have given us a clue to the monster's identity. We've got a police artist sketch of the monster, Mighty Mouse. Gad, he's a handsome rogue. 
Over the next few days, a massive dragnet was employed to find the monster. And all citizens are warned to be on the lookout for a large white kitten. 66.4 meters long, medium build, ultramarine blue eyes with a mole on his left whisker. Phew! And then, one day, the final clue to the monster's whereabouts was provided. It's headed right for the school! Hey, look! An electric hairball! <laughs> Thanks, Mighty Mouse! Now we have a chance to grow up and become model citizens just like you! Think nothing of it! Bye, Mighty Mouse! See ya! Thanks! And Mighty Mouse takes careful aim. It's a miss! Oh, Mighty Mouse takes one on the chin. I'm afraid he's no match for the monster's longer reach. Oh, the monster's really tacked him that time. He's got Mighty up against the ropes. That's it! Come on, Pearl! What are you going to do? I'm going to become an airhead! Turn on the pump, Pearl! This shouldn't happen to a dog. going to do with you? <laughs> You're too big to live in Mouseville and... Ooh! of super relishes from a galaxy hundreds of miles away. Don't forget me, dear. Oh, yes. This is my wife. We have scoured the universe, searching for signs of compassion among intelligent life forms. Did you find any? It was your display of compassion and understanding that convinced us, Mighty Mouse. The entire galaxy shall know of your mighty deeds. Ah. Uh, Shucks! 
worth nothing. But what about Puffy? He can't stay here. We have prepared a place in our solar system for the giant cat. A place where his extraordinary intelligence and wisdom will be allowed to blossom. Suddenly, I feel very sentient. But enough of this. Come, Puffy. We must go. Goodbye, Mighty Mouse. There may be hope for your planet yet. Gosh, Mighty Mouse, if I hadn't seen it, I, I would never have believed it. There's a lesson to be learned from all this, Pearl. How the bits of many different vegetables can be bonded together in perfect harmony to make a jar of relish. Perhaps if we could all follow their example, Spaceship Earth would be a more commercially viable place to live in. Next time you're about to eat relish that's been struck by lightning, remember that fateful day that Poppy went berserk.